Hello, I am Phyllis Waters. Being honored with the Distinguished Alumni Award in 2020 is truly special, especially since it coincides with the Year of the Nurse, honoring the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth, the 130th anniversary of the UTMB School of Nursing, and the 100th anniversary of women being empowered with the right to vote. All three of these events remind me of significant influences in my life. Nightingale, acknowledged as the founder of modern nursing, was deeply spiritual, intellectually gifted, and envisioned nursing as an art and a science. Nightingale's leadership advanced nursing and healthcare on an international scale within her lifetime as it continues to do so today. I personally was most significantly influenced by Nightingale's description of nursing's purpose, which she described as placing the patient in the best position to heal. This purpose resonated with me and shaped my philosophical lens on nursing and the way I practice. This lens inspired my research on the nature of healing and what it takes to create a healing environment. This purpose continues to serve as my professional North Star. Nightingale was a 70-year-old nursing pioneer and international leader when the John Seeley School of Nursing opened in 1890 and initiated the first nursing program in the Southwest. For the next 130 years, UTMB has continued that pioneering nursing legacy in establishing innovative graduate programs and international outreach. I have many fond memories of my tenure at UTMB as a graduate student and serving in various roles as a nurse leader. I was initially recruited to facilitate a closer partnership between the School of Nursing and the Clinical Enterprise. I arrived just in time to participate and UTMB's centennial celebration. As hundreds of nursing graduates from decades past gathered, I began to appreciate the unique culture and values that bind the UTMB nursing community at its core. I credit that culture, those values, and my many mentors, colleagues, and friends for having influenced my professional journey and achievements. According to Dossie, in the 1880s, Nightingale predicted that the discipline of nursing would assume a major decisive leadership role in healthcare. However, she projected it would take 100 to 150 years for this to be realized. Perhaps she knew it would require the advancement in women's rights aligning with the growing empowerment of nursing as a discipline to achieve our leadership destiny. One of the more colorful periods in my career was my involvement in TNA District 9's contribution to second wave feminist movement. Nurse Power made the papers and was a presence in the 1977 International Women's Conference in Houston. Though the struggle for equal rights and nursing optimization is not over, we have made progress and the suffragettes pledge, we shall persist, is alive and well. As FM predicted and is reflected in the future of nursing report, National and international groups are recognizing the necessity of nursing leadership in order to transform healthcare. Currently, I am devoted to educating transformational nurse leaders so that they can address the complexity of contemporary healthcare realities. I am confident that my fellow alumni will continue pioneering new frontiers in transforming nursing and healthcare. I am thankful and proud to be one among many UTMB alumni to advancing nursing. In closing, I would like to thank my fellow alumni who nominated me, Ellarine Deuce Sanders, Cheryl Day, 
and Tina Cuellar, and the School of Nursing Alumni Association Awards Committee. I feel overwhelmed by their generosity of spirit. I am sure there are many alumni more worthy, but there are none more humbled by or appreciative of this honor than I.